The Dover Police Department hasn't seen a spike in crime in the last few years, but it is seeing a steady increase in social service types of calls. These are problems that, are, that involve uh, homelessness, poverty, uh, mental illness, drug dependency, those kinds of calls, calls for help that aren't necessarily criminal in nature. Officers have crisis intervention training and try to direct people to services in the moment, but... You could give them pamphlets, you can give them names and phone numbers, but they may or may not be ready to follow up that, you know, even the next morning or the next day. So the department has added a social worker to the ranks. The goal is to provide referrals after the crisis is over, to follow up and see what someone may need, ultimately to prevent it from happening again. They won't be going to crime scenes or responding to calls. She's reading police reports and she's getting information from police officers and firefighters about uh, situations or people in need. And her job is going to be to get to know all the area services, make connections within those agencies, and bridge the gap between the police department and the service that is right for the person. I think having someone like this um, social worker role at the Dover PD is uh, piloting here is a great opportunity um, to help folks who may not have that experience with navigating the system um, and also to you know catch people as who might fall through the cracks. The position is funded the first year through a COPS or Community Oriented Police Service Grant. In Dover, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.